Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Nurse Vachel and in this video I'll be talking to you about different AI tools that I use on a day-to-day -day basis which save me a lot of time and help me get a lot of work done. Alright, so the first tool that we have over here is something called as Notion AI. So what is Notion AI? It's an AI which will help you do pretty much everything. Let's say that in my book I'm reading about a disease called as uh, cirrhosis of liver, right? It's a very common disease, a lot of people suffer from it. I need a complete case with clinical history and examination points so that I could, you know, get how I want to present the case next day in my medicine OPD. What I'll do is I'll just do this, ask AI to write. So what I've just written down is write a case sheet of an alcoholic liver disease with portal hypertension presenting with hematemesis with all the history and clinical examination findings. Now you'll see what the magic AI does. I'll just press enter and the AI is writing. Obviously it's not going to be 100% correct. There's going to be some sort of differences between the AI and what a human can write and I think that's a good thing. For example in chief complaints hematemesis is not the chief complaint. It's blood in the vomiting which is the chief complaint. Management is exactly what we do in the hospital plus diagnosis is pretty fantastic. So this way you can write a case sheet. Let's say that you are not uh, you know satisfied with this. So I have given the AI another prompt go in detail with the history with proper word usage more details all investigations with your own values and keep no space blank and now it has given me a much more detail with the proper examination finding and also a very nice report according to the AST and ALT levels I don't think Anuj has a very good prognosis over here but overall I would say this is the way that you can use AI to write a case sheet so this was a case sheet of alcoholic liver disease with portal hypertension I'll show you another example of a few case sheets which I have made myself so this is the case sheet for Charcot Marie Tooth disease experiencing difficulty in walking and frequently tripping exactly next we have refsum disease so this is a disease we read in biochemistry and this is phytonic acid metabolism is my effect ho jata hai. how this case sheet really helps you is that first of all you will be able to identify the disease and see the clinical symptoms without actually having to read or go to the clinic you will be able to see everything over here secondly the most amazing thing is you can actually store these case sheets as their individual pages in notion so you can actually create a database of different case sheets on your own which will be very useful whenever you need them let's say that you are making a quiz for your quiz club you have all of these case sheets with you together what will happen is that you will be very easily able to frame a few questions. Second thing that I want to show you is something called as active recall sheet. So this is a paragraph which I copied from a very standard medical textbook. I think it talks about myeloma, right? So myeloma is multiple myeloma and it is talking about that. What I would do when I was in first year and second year was that instead of just reading this paragraph, I used to make questions out of them. So this is my microbiology active recall sheet, which I used to make in like, see, this is the edit, March 7, 2020. Uh, so this was way back in lockdown. And what I used to do is that whenever I read the chapter, I used to write a sheet like that, who was the first person to observe the bacteria and if it so this is the way I used to study back in first and second year but there is literally no need to do the same thing right now because making this used to take a lot of time so just copy the dialogue which you have over here and then just ask AI to write 10 questions from the paragraph with answers hit enter and AI will start writing here it is what is the cause what is the chromosomal alterations what is the recombinations what the genes interleukin neoplastic event all of that and finally it has done and what we say insert below so finally we have this paragraph which is written by AI and instead of you know making this paragraph on your own you have just made an active recall sheet which you can use any time to revise any topic. So how do you use it? You just see, okay, what is the role of interleukin-6 in driving myeloma cells to proliferation? Then you realize that, okay, interleukin-6 is very important. Another example I have is something of A-beta lipoproteinemia. So I'll just select the entire paragraph which I got and ask AI to write 10 questions with answer and the AI will start doing it. As soon as it has, you know, proofread everything, it will start writing. You've just made an active recall sheet by just asking the AI to do the thing for you. The next thing which is very similar to the case sheet is by making flashcards. So you can directly ask the AI to make flashcards for you slash ask you questions. And the last way is I use it for content creation. I ask the AI helping me decide the better titles and the alternative topics that I will get from a particular video idea which I had. I had a video idea about how to start a YouTube channel while you are in college and I asked the AI to give me 10 different video ideas which were similar but different in content to the idea which I'd given to it before. So it gave me this and and I think all of these 10 things would be a good video by themselves so yes that was all about how I use Notion AI on a day-to-day -day basis and how it saves me quite a lot of time for learning more about it I would highly recommend you to download Notion from the link in the description and also explore the AI feature yourself next AI is very famous it's called as chat GPT I think everybody has heard about it it's an open source AI a chatbot which is developed by OpenAI, and you can ask it anything how I use it on a day-to-day -day basis is first of all first studies I use it to make quizzes for myself let's say I read stroke yesterday I'll ask it to ask me questions about about stroke. Simple, ask me 10 questions from stroke medicine or a doctor should know. So here it goes. First, what are the major risk factors? So it starts making questions for you. So let's say I want these questions to be asked to me one by one. So I can just write. Okay, so the first question, what are the major risk factors to stroke? So I know it's diabetes, hypertension, different sort of vasculitis, previous history of stroke. All of these are risk factors for stroke. I, I could either mentally say this answer, revise the concept myself. And lastly, I could say I don't know that. Yeah, hypertension, diabetes, smoking, obesity, previous history of stroke. So all of these are various risk factors for stroke. So this is the way you can use ChatGPT for the same. Here's the second question. What is the role of anticoagulant therapy in prevention and management of stroke in patients with atrial fibrillation? So I've just written down the answer myself and 
chat gpt has provided me a rating as well your answer is 9 out of 10 which is pretty good according to me and it also provides you with more detailed information on whatever you wanted to ask the next question which it asked was pretty cool it was something called as chat to s2 vasc score which is very useful in stroke medicine and we use it to predict whether the atrial fibrillation will cause a stroke or not and uh, i was unable to answer that question in much detail so what it did was it rated that it, it was incorrect and it actually gave me the actual score which helped me revise the topic which i had left you can ask it for providing a more detailed answer and it will do that as well so here it is providing me the exact score and how to calculate it so yes this is a very amazing way to use chat gpt for your own good as a medical student of course whenever it comes to using these ais for your studies don't believe 100% everything what they are saying use your own brain as well if you think that they are something saying something overtly incorrect uh, just check up google or just check up your textbook and see whether they are stating the correct facts to you or not the second way in which i use chat gpt on a daily basis is by asking it to improve few parts of my youtube script to generate a few ideas for my channel based on one simple idea so let's say that i have written down a script so let's say that this is the script which i have written down i just copied it the entire script and i just asked it to write me write a video summary of the script and that's exactly what it's doing so <laughs> it has basically included everything in notion in chat gpt uh trip organizer dali so all of these are ais which we'll be talking about today the third way which i use it on a day to day basis is whenever i actually want some help with respect to the topics that i don't know so my friend abhijit's birthday was last two months ago and we wanted to make a trivia question for him and he's a big anime fan so what i did was i just asked ai to create a very specific anime related questions for him i don't know a single word about anime and chat gpt actually did and the prompt which i gave to chat gpt was give me 10 questions from naruto which no mortal dare answer and he gave me the hardest question even abhijit was not able to answer a lot whenever i need some sort of help with a task ai will help me do it the only thing is that your prompt should be extremely specific and only then will you get good responses moving on to the next section this ai has been there before chat gpt before every other ai that we are talking about right now and that is called as anki and this is a flashcard app which i have already talked about before on my channel what exactly is a flashcard so let's say that this is a card which says that indication of getting usg kidney in a case of bph so this is the question and the answer will be present in here it behind so you will you will first have to actually recall the answer so okay i'll be like ha agar creatine and rise hai to hum usg karenge and here the answer says okay creatine and badhai tab hum karenge so this is a flash card i just described to you an offline method of using a flash card but anki is a much better digital way of using flash cards because it combines something called as space repetition so the algorithm of anki knows that okay maybe you took a lot of time on this card so i'll show you this card again much more frequently than i do with the other card so that you will be in touch with this card and not forget i used anki a lot in my second year of mbbs and that was one of the reasons i was able to get distinctions in all the subjects of second year and pass with flying colors wow sahi samay tha second year boy so this is how it works uh, you import a deck which is usually pre made i'll mention a few videos which will help you get started with anki but once you get started just import a deck it just gives you something like this what happens to testes in foreigners gangrene so absolutely nothing happens to testes they are absolutely normal so this was one of the questions the decks which are present are pre made by amazing people all over the internet and you can use them absolutely for free of cost so this is how anki works and per day you can do like 100 to 200 cards and if you maintain a proper streak you'll be able to remember a lot of things in your head it's definitely complicated to get started with but once you do it becomes easier i've listed so many links in the description which will help you get started with anki so please make sure to go check them out the next ai which will really help you a lot is something called as tripplanner.ai So here you can just plan a trip to anywhere and it will give you exact a day wise time wise itinerary of what you have to do the different places you have to visit and how will you visit them so let's plan a new trip destination so what destination do you want goa so let's say let's plan a trip to goa and uh, number of days let's say 3 days so this is how it work it has given me a good map of goa with uh, which i can explore myself let's see what it says day 1 arrive in goa 10 am very good lunch at fisherman's wharf so you can do that fourth aguada very good arjuna great uh, dinner at gunpowder kafi mehanga restaurant hai and night life at titos lane which is what we did exactly next you reach to day 2 bomb jesus mein jao breakfast lunch mom's kitchen club day 3 mein it has got baga beach which i went to chapora fort cafe real so it has got a lot of things so basically, Basically, it helps you plan out this trip. I planned out a few trips using this AI. So Paris, me, what I did was it gave me an exact uh, itinerary. So 10 a.m. Eiffel Tower, up. 10 a.m. go to the Eiffel Tower, which is one of the best times to visit the Eiffel Tower. Actually, next uh, at 2 p.m. go to the Louvre Museum, which is again one of the best times to visit there. The only thing is that sometimes it does get some things wrong. For example, Palace of Versailles, it is given, which is like so far away from main Paris city that it takes you like an entire day just to cover. You can pretty much see it right here. So this is the main Paris wala zaga. This is the main Paris city, and as you can see, Versailles is so far. It does take a lot of time, but once you visit it, it actually do. So, थोड़ा बहुत गलतियाँ करता है, but don't mind. Same thing, a lot of different places. So this itinerary will be actually exported to you, and you can just directly send this 
to your group chat and let your friends refuse it after viewing the itinerary. There are a few other AIs which I actually use to make my YouTube videos. First of them being Mid Journey. So Mid Journey is an AI which I use to create some sort of modifications in my thumbnail. For example, as you can see this thumbnail, I literally did not have any sort of green apple or whatever, but I still ended up making this thumbnail using AI. So Mid Journey is an AI which will help you fill the gaps in your thumbnails. And also Dali is one such AI which will help you do the same thing with your images. So these were a few AIs which I actually use in daily life. Uh, so to bahut sare milenge tumko reels pe aur shorts pe jo ai ke bahut sari cheeze batayegi but this were the ones which are genuinely used so yes that was the entire video about how i use ai as a medical student as a doctor and as a content creator i really hope you enjoyed it make sure if you did please consider subscribing and also dropping a like on this video i'll see you next time goodbye take care bye bye